Now, the International Fellowships Program came about is like a kind logical conclusion to what Ford Foundation has for a long time been working on. And this is the development of, of leadership in the context of social justice worldwide. So, the goal is very, very specific. It targets a very special group of people, talented men and women who have strong commitment to improving their communities and countries. That's one. We, the applications go to what we call the regional partners. The regional partners create a regional screening committee and all the applications coming from the region are read. It's a three-member committee made up of an academe, an NGO, or a member of society, a uh, uh, sectoral society, and they read each of the applications. They look at the social commitment, they look at the leadership, and they look at the uh, academic uh, grades, etc. What is important about this is that when they read the letters of reference, most of them know who this person is. So right away, the validated date, na to cross check, na kakarit ng background check on the applicant. Those in the committee would call right away. This person is applying for, and he wrote something like this. Is this true? Can you verify? Is he a material for graduate school? So right away, they check. So all the applications coming from that region are evaluated or rated by the members of the committee. We have no say in this. We do not influence them. They go through the deliberation. We are there to document, but we do not say yes or no. They recommend. Now, once the applications have been reviewed by the regional screening committee, the next would be the, the experts. The experts are the ones who look at the study objectives, the proposed study plan, they look seriously at your grades and your post-fellowship plan. So you experts depending. So if you want to go into development management, two experts in this field will read your application. If you want to go to education, we ask two experts in education to read this. And then they rate it. Is this a goal or not? Now, if they do not agree, then a third reader will be asked to look at the application. Okay, so it's not just a personal statement. Okay, and then we make the list. And then we call them for the interview. At no stage during the regional screening or experts do we, as members of PSSC, influence or have a say. We are outside of that. Next, you have the National Selection Committee. The semi-finalists are invited to Manila for a panel interview. And five members sit, again, composed of experts in academe, uh, NGOs, civil society, government, and they sit and they interview the semi-finalists. In the beginning, we depended on this, but later on, uh, especially for doctoral app candidates, we started calling specialists. So if you want to go to a PhD in clinical psychology, we invite two clinical psychologists to sit in the panel and also interview. So once you have passed, what's the rate? Usually 30 slots, we invite 100 for the interview. Out of, let's say, a total 1,200 applications, qualified applications. So they go through. By the time they're ready for the interview, we would have at least 100, 120. And from that 100, 120, we select 30. Okay. And then we send the list to New York for their endorsement. And once New York finds this, then you are a go. And that's when we start working with you. So that's the only time when we get into the picture. So we invite you for the orientation, you go through the needs assessment, and then we get into Most of our fellows prefer to go to the U.S., but I want to tell you that the more serious fellows, 
go to the UK for the PhDs and for the MAs, and they come home with, you know, changed, especially the PhDs, uh, the way they treat, the, the, the way they talk about their supervisors, you know, the way they were looked at.